Hey. That's slow right there. You like that? Yeah. That's a nice beat, man. My son cooked that one up, man. We appreciate <laughs> y'all, man. Hey, what's up, what's up with y'all? How y'all living today? This is Dan Black, and this is another episode of the Fathers from the Hood podcast. You know what I'm saying? Y'all know what it is. Hey, we appreciate y'all support. I promise we do. We love it. We appreciate y'all. We're here for one reason. It's all for, for the fathers I'm trying to create that narrative, man. But, hey, we got a special guest up in the house, man. Go ahead and talk to him, coach. Yo, what's the deal, man? I don't know what y'all know me by. Y'all might know me as Bill. Dollar, billion, whatever, you know. Right now I'm Coach Bill. I think I'm in the building today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> yes, you know? he is. Yes, he is. We appreciate you for being here as well, man, for real. You know what I'm saying? This is a real good, solid dude, man. We've been trying to link up for a minute. Our business partner, BJ, told us to link up, man, and we put it together, and he handed it off, and now we're about to run to the end zone. But for show, for show, uh, go ahead and like that uh comment all that good stuff hit the subscribe button you know what i'm saying and uh also don't forget to do the patreon man we got some stuff coming up real soon so y'all make sure to be uh you know tuned in also be on the lookout for the websites all that good stuff and then that christmas giveaway man we're gonna have a little live and we let y'all know something about that yeah, you, you know didn't tell saying? me y'all was doing a christmas giveaway man we could have we we could get we could have <laughs> gave away a boxing bar or something like that shout well, out boxing bar well you know it's a giveaway also but mainly one is the raffle but we're gonna give something away man, as make well. sure make sure i get one of them boxing bars in here man so y'all can get one of them away you know what i'm saying on everything let's make that happen on everything oh yeah yes yeah, sir let me know man we got something coming up for y'all and you know what i'm saying hey just stay tuned you know what i'm saying but like y'all know like i said we got a very special guest up in here man uh, uh like i said one reason we got him in here is you know what i'm saying because he's a great dude he, he, he a rapper he do he do a uh, hell of a job when he rapping you know what i'm saying Appreciate yeah, it. Thank you know what I'm you. saying he's a stand-up dude. He out there hustling. You know what I'm saying? But one of the main reasons we got him here is because um actually the main reason we have him here is man, because we know he's a stand-up father from the hood. You know Thank what I'm you. saying? He do what he gotta do. Thank you. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, our partner been shout, out, the shout out to my whole Dana gang. You know uh, what I'm saying? You know it's about I got about six of them, you already know. For real? You know, I'm dead serious, man. I got five boys, and one little girl. I love them all to death, man. Okay. These you know, my two that my two soldiers I brought with me today, I got custody of them. Okay. You know, we thug together, but man, you know, I'm an active father hands on all the way around. You know, Copy that. Like, I love. I mean, ain't no, ain't no sensation better than being a, being a parent. I ain't gonna even hold you. Right. We see you online, man, doing your thing. If y'all don't know, man, tell them, give me, tell me Instagram and all that. Oh, at underscore billion. That let me, let me, let me, let me spell it out as at underscore b i l l underscore y u n. Yes, you know? sir. Y'all make sure y'all follow up, man, because he's doing a lot of work out there, man. He's also real positive, and he's um, keeping his kids fit, and he also changing the narrative, man. Fatherhood. You know what I'm saying that's why we here. Um, you know, what we usually do when we get up in the podcast, you know what I'm saying, we get straight into it, and we always ask, like, what city you grew up in if you had your father in your life and, you know, all that good stuff. So, oh, yeah, man. Yeah. You know, I ain't going to shy away from no questions, but uh, I grew up Cal Cali, baby, Linwood, California, mm -hmm. you know, on the east side, man, east side of the 110, you already know. Hey. Right next door to Compton. Yes, yeah, sir, the east side stuff, of Compton. Yes, yeah, sir, talk so, to um, me. But, yeah, you know, I definitely um, was connected to my father. You know, I knew who he was growing up. He, he wasn't, you know, him and my mom, unfortunately, didn't stay together. But, you know, he did his best at, uh, let me say, uh, being a father to 10 kids himself, you know. Okay, so, okay. you know, it's kind of like that thing, man. He had a gang of them. I had a gang of them. But, you know. Right, yeah, right. You can only be the best father that you could be. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. Like you said, he was there. Um, how does that? Um, how did that? You know, being in your life, how how did he impact you? How how much was he in your life? You it it was saying? different because he wasn't he wasn't completely absent. You cool. know, cool. honestly, it was like I know who he was. I wasn't out here searching for my daddy like where my daddy at. But you know, I just wish he would could have. You know, certain certain mistakes that I've made, I think I I could have avoided those mistakes if he was here. You get okay. what I'm saying, you know, but right. ain't, ain't got, ain't got nothing bad to say about my man. So I love him, you know. Yeah, shout out, shout out, Big him. Dollar. Shout know? out, shout out, shout out. You know what I'm saying, hope you see that. Shout out, and um, like I said, you just make sure you kind of, you know, reciprocate that into your kids. How did that impact you, and the way that you impact or uh, reciprocate that into your kids? Well, I didn't, I didn't really necessarily learn my parenting from my father. You know, I got that from my mom. Like you know, so I kind of. You know, me being a natural man, of course, I could teach them how to, you know, grow into young men and, you know, just my ways brush off on them naturally. But my parents and actually come from my mother, you know, okay. honestly. So I got to give all credit to, you know, the, the my, my parents and to my mother, you know. Okay. Yeah, you feel me? I, I try to be the superhero that she was, but, you know, it ain't no, you can't compare to moms, man. Moms right. is like, shh. You feel me? I ain't even finna do that. You nah, know, I can't even cook chicken nowhere near what she do. But anyway, uh, I love being a father, man. It, it's It's a good thing. Yeah, man, I see, man. So um, with that being said, you know, how important is it for you to be an active father, loving your kids and, and you know, being there and a single father, man? We're going to touch on that, but how important is it for you to be there? Uh, it's very important, man. It's it's uh, it's imperative to the outcome 
of their life. You get what I'm saying? It's like, you know, it's I got to be there to try to guide them. And it's kind of a hard job, too, because, you know, your, your boys, they my boys, two, my two women right now, they're night and day. And then I got my 10 year old that's always here, too. But, yeah. you know, they, they night and day, man. And it's, it's just good. I'm just happy to be here and I'm happy that they allow me to guide them. Like, I appreciate them, you know, for real. Yeah, man, we see them helping out, doing their thing. They're real good, man. So uh, we know that you can always tell when kids are always, um, not to be rude, like being taught, being raised real good, you know what I'm saying, being taught how to be real good people. And um, you can tell that when you, you know, just walk past your kids, talk to them, interact with them for sure. Right. You know what I'm saying? I know people tell you that when you're out in the store. Yeah, man. Like. <laughs> you know, they, they they give me, you know, it's good feedback that come, about my, uh, come back from my babies. You know, I can send them anywhere. You can take them tomorrow, man. You're going to be like, yo, hey, man, you got some good little soldiers. You no know? problem, so, huh? No, no problem. No, no issues. Yeah, that's good, man. So um, let's touch on it, man. We're going to get you a real good stop, a uh, good little little section right here, man, let's because, um, you know, you're a single father. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? And um, let's go ahead and let you do the, you know, talking on that because we want to get your insight, the woes, the happiness, and the, 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 the ups, the downs, and how it really is because we don't really get that often. You know what I'm saying? Talk man, to us. Man, it's, it's different. It's like it's one thing because – let me say this, man. Like, you know, I think every parent that has, like, you go through this battle of, you know, who got the, uh, you know, tell, tells your kids, like, the do's and don'ts, I guess so. But I don't have nobody to interfere, I guess, with my parenting. But it sucks okay. because I am doing it by myself. You know, I do wish I had my queen there that can actually help me get through it, you know, honestly. And that's that's one thing. But, you know, I think it all all at the same time, it, it strengthens me and my boys, man. It's, it's you know, it's a bunch of testosterone in the house, but we actually strengthen each other. These, these dudes make me sharper. Every day, you know, honestly, they keep me on my toes. They keep me young. I love it, you know, mm -hmm. but, you know, it's just like the dating, man, I ain't even going to get into it. It's just hard. It's hard <laughs> to really, it's hard to really find somebody that's going to really come commit to somebody who really know that, hey, man, this ain't, this don't ever stop. You get what right. I'm saying? Like my, my kids ain't going back with their mama, you know, none of that, you know, it's every day. You get right. what I'm saying? Like on everything, no, no disrespect to their moms, but you get what I'm saying? It's right, like. Right. You know, You're I committed need to, to that to me. that role to so be in it. It's a, it's a lot of ups and downs, man. We'd be here all day if we get to talk. Oh, about we got that. time, man. This is for you. <laughs> you the main guest. I mean, what yeah. you mean? You know what I'm saying, yeah, uh, man. You I know? wanted to talk about one thing too, man. A lot of people don't understand the, the one word, man. I want to touch on sacrifice. You know what I'm saying? Um, you True. know, a lot of women or a lot of males themselves don't understand the amount of sacrifice when you have to do it by yourself. Facts. And for a woman, for a single mother, or a single father. Today, you know, we talking about single fathers. So how much? Does that sacrifice weigh on you, bro? What Man. do you you know? Touch on it a little it, bit. We it don't, don't hey, honestly, I'm not even gonna I'm not even gonna make it seem like the sacrifice is the weight. Okay, it's not. I love this, man. Being a parent, it's like I, it is no better feeling than being a parent. Like you know, the thing is, the thing that the struggle is. You remember when we came up, we had that village. You get what I'm saying? We had grandma house, we had auntie house, we had you know all that other stuff and this now whatever. And it's just right. different because you know um, I got to try to hold it together because it makes me emotional. I was just talking to my moms about it because it's hard by myself for real. Because I don't have everybody here, you know, to to kind of assist. You know, I got the hom I got homies. I got you know, y'all y'all damn near family. But it's still like, you know, it's still hard to really pull it off by yourself when everybody else got their daily life. Everybody got wives and kids and things like that to handle. So we can't just really, you know, I think if we did a better job as a community and started to help each other as a as a people, bro, we get we go a long way. You know, honestly. But other than that, man, it's no it's no real. Struggle, no man. It's it's hard. It's it's it, the sacrifice is there. The very moment that you have a kid, man. I was seventeen right. when I had my first son. Like honestly, and that, that that very moment, I promise you, I started to sacrifice everything, bro. Went out, got me a job, Cinnabon. Shout out Cinnabon. You feel me? <laughs> but anyway, you know, it, it's, it's 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 a lot, man. I I, I appreciate it because it was it's it's people look at it as weight. Like my my kids are a blessing. Look, check this out. If I didn't have my kids at seventeen, I was out here gang banging. I was doing stupid stuff. From the very moment that I had my my son. I ch it, ch it, changed. it changed. You get what I'm saying? And right, then every right. time I was thinking about doing something reckless, I had another baby and then another baby. So it's just like, yo, hey, man, it's a blessing to me because right now I'm not no bum. You feel me? Right. Like I'm handling my business. I got them on top of my kids. Like, you feel me? Nobody can't tell me nothing. Right. You know, so hey. I love it, man. That's good, man, because, you know, sometimes I guess it would be a sacrifice to do it. But you touched on it a little bit. But mainly you don't look at it like that, bro. It's a real no. blessing for you. And they need to understand that, too. Um, with being a single father, uh, is time something that you really worry about? Oh, man, time is crazy because that's the whole purpose of me being, you know, self-employed. You get what I'm saying? Okay, so I okay. can control my schedule, you know, because, like I said, it's imperative that I'm in their life, you, you know, so I have to figure out a way. There's no way that I could go allow a job to take 10 to 12 hours of my time and then, 
you know, I got to come, you know, be a coach on top of that and then other things because I'm their coach as well. <clears throat> and then I got to give them time to be the father, like take the coach hat off, <clears throat> cook, cook and dinner, be cook dinner, dad, all, talk man, about sports, all, that, all, that. all that. So, you know, it's it's it's, it's time consuming for sure. And I, I try, I battle with that. That's my probably that's my biggest battle. But the fact that they're 14 and 15, man, these oh, dudes yeah, you're is, good. You know, they're good, man. They're you doing know? everything together. It's cool to have some a brother like that, man. Did you, you said, you, did you have a brother that was close to that age? Like, th- close in their age, one year oh, apart? Man, I like was that? deep, man, honestly. But my, my, my brother that I, I can say that I was closest to, unfortunately, not here. You know, Mark came may you rest in peace. That was peace, my man. guy, you know. Um, okay. Man, that's a touchy subject, man. You're going to make me tear up on here, man, because I, I just wish he was here to uh to see them. You yes, know, sir. the progress, you know, so honestly. So I that's 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 that. wild, you know. Yeah. And that's okay. crazy. You know, I wasn't, I wasn't expecting you to go. <laughs> didn't expect that, my bad. I ain't not, up no, but it, no, but it's cool because it just some t- it, I ain't scared to touch the subject. It just, you know, it had me think about everything real quick because I just wish he'd seen the progress, Yeah, you know. Yeah, it's cool to see. Um, that's one thing. My brother, my little brother, and I don't really share this often, man. He's handicapped, you know what I'm saying? Nobody really know. Right. But for the most part. It, it is, it's always something that you want to have when you have a son see that. Yeah, exactly. Oh, man, this is my brother. Man, I, even if y'all not the best of friends, sometimes you're cool with him. You want somebody to see that, man. This is my this brother. Is on, this is what you got. So Facts. I hear you, man. I hear you, man. Let's touch on that, man. So let's go ahead and get into another topic, man. The main thing, man. So go ahead on the sports, the fitness, and how you keep these boys in shape, man. We see you rocking, man. If y'all don't know, y'all going to see him online doing a lot of great things. But go ahead and um, tell him, man. Go let him know a little bit of what you do what? And, and more if you want. You know, I wear, I wear I wear many hats. I'm not going to lie to you. You know, I just, like, I was explaining to my son, it's, it's a thing to where you never stay in one lane. He asked me one day, he like, he like, Dad, what do you mean? I said it in the song one time. Like, what do you mean by switching lanes? I'm like, son, you know, when one lane slow up, you know, in traffic, you in traffic, one lane slow up, you want to switch lanes. So it's going to keep it moving, right? You got to have different lanes. But anyway, our, our main lane that we chose right now is boxing, of course, because both of my young champions over here are, I got a, I got an orthodox, I got a southpaw, uh-huh. And, you know, I'm a certified USA boxing certified coach. Uh, you know, okay. also I'm a certified personal trainer with the school to be a personal trainer. So, okay. you know, fitness is our thing. And it actually keeps us bonded. Boxing, that's the most important part. Because, look, all of us be pissed off in a day. All, and we end up in the same spot. You know, right. same right spot. Right working out, huh? You know, some kids ask their they parents to build them a, a tree house. Look, hey, I, then my kids ask me to build them a boxing, a boxing gym. And I put it together for them. Uh, so that's just what we do. That's what's you know, up, Shout out Danny Gang again, all my kids. You know, you feel me? That's I what's love up. It. That's what's up. We love to see that, man. Another shout out, man, for you, man. We really want to give your flowers here and let you speak your piece, let you know, or let people know exactly how it is for to be you. You know what I'm saying? Um, let's talk about the boxing a little bit, man. How 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 important is that? And you know what you got going on with the boxing, man? We out in Vegas right now, saying. Well, man, boxing, so, boxing yeah. is it, it's a big thing because originally, you know, if anybody know me and they've been following me for a long time, y'all know that I really wanted to, you know, go pro myself, and I wasn't presented the proper opportunities to actually get a pro, let me say, a beneficial pro fight. You know, I wasn't finna sell my soul to go get a couple hundred dollars to go fight some whatever. But anyway, you know, but I stayed in the game, you know, and I learned that I learned it. I became a student to it to where, you know, I learned it so much I became a coach. And now, you know, I teach it to my kids. And, you know, they, I guarantee you, man, these dudes are going to be, you know, certified, celebrated amateurs. And, you know, if they, if they make that decision to go pro, we also have, you know, the proper connections. You know, I'm not going to name drop right now. But um, but yeah, you know, it's just you know, it, we 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 going down that lane, man. I love oh, yeah. it. You know, they oh, yeah. they love it. It's 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 crazy. As as brutal as it is, it's a peaceful sport, man. Right. Like honestly, man, I love it. And if you and if you're teaching them the real fundamentals and teaching them respect for humans, you won't really see nobody really just going devastating another person. You just you know, like I said, appreciate the sport. Yeah. You know, I see yours doing their thing. Sometimes I don't, man. I'm going to shout you out, man. When I seen something online, I saw one just saying he could have did something dirty to him. Yeah. But he kind of just ha, ha, tapped yeah, him a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Like, let him know. And yeah. you had to slow it down for somebody to really appreciate that that um, that um respect for the yeah. craft, for the sport. Yeah, you man. Both of, them, bo- both of them becoming dogs, man. And you probably talking about Jaden. Jaden got more uh, highlight clips up right now. You know what I'm saying? He's doing crazy shit. I mean, they're knocking out people's mouthpieces. going to turn out into knockouts in a minute. And then. Right. Hey, hey, my silent killer that I don't speak on as much. Well, he don't speak up as much, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, he's a little camera shy. His name is Ryan. You know, he went, hey, we're going to call him Samurai in a minute, you know, because he's going <laughs> to be chopping him down. And, you know, we got my boy Cam Bam. And y'all already know, man, you know, we we, we, we come through and we we, we rocking things to, to the point. I ain't, I ain't going to lie with you. We leaving them a little butt hurt, man. When we lead up, when we oh, lead yeah. the gym, I ain't gonna lie. You, know you come what I'm up there thick, man. You come up there with a couple, man. Like, look, who want it? 
Yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, facts, man. We come in there, man, and, uh, you know, they all getting in there, you know. That's what's you up, feel man. Me? We love to see that, man. We love to see that, man. That's really incredible, man. Like I said, um, my partner, my business partner, he was talking about it before we even had the chance to meet. You know what I'm saying? Like, man, you know, I got my, my partner, man, he's doing the boxing, man. He's really doing his thing. I looked at it online. Oh, yeah, cool. And then as I look a little bit more and see, it, I see the growth. I yeah. see exactly what you're doing, man. Appreciate Talk about it. your sponsors, man. How you got going, man? Because uh, you're doing things. I went ahead and got me one of them Vipers, man. And I, I got it in the living room, man. Yeah. And every time I do something, man, I go ahead and touch yeah. it a couple yeah. times. Yeah, you feel man. me? I appreciate you coming to grab one of them Vipers, man. Uh, boxing Bar. Boxing Bar is like we, we connected to them randomly, like out here, just playing around on one of them, you know. And, and I want to give a major shout out to Brian, you know, Brian who connected with us. And, you know, Brian treats us nothing but uh, – Nothing less than family, man. Like, honestly, it's just, you know, um, way from the U.K. You know, this company is based out of the U.K. Okay. And, you know, and they connected to us. They put their stamp on us, and we proudly rock it, obviously, you know. And um, and they will stand behind my sons. They'll be a major sponsor throughout their, you know, throughout their professional career, along with, what, Monster Mix. Monster Mix is definitely, like, you know what I'm saying? I got to appreciate y'all in the building, you know, because, you know, it's just like y'all putting y'all stamp on us is a, is a, is a major thing to – Allow us to be that billboard for you. Truly Grand, you know, Truly Grand Sports. I will shout out my boy Mike, you know, straight, you know, from, from Michigan. You know, other than that, you know, I can I can okay. go through a list, man. We ain't going to go there. But, you know, um, yeah, man, we we, we, we we here, you know, and we we, we we will be a force to be reckoned with. Oh, like, yeah. I will let you know. Oh, Dana, yeah. Dana gang, man. Let's remember that. I'm yeah, y'all remember times. that, man. We're going to put that up there. Y'all remember that for sure. And uh, like I said, man, it's great to see you doing a whole lot of things, man, especially with the with the business relationships and the, and the sponsorships and things like that. A lot of people don't focus on that, but it's great for your kids to actually see you doing more than just the physical part, the dad part. You're actually stepping into the business world, making sure you do exactly what's needs yeah. to be done. I just want to show them the way, you know, and I'm not trying to be that dad coach. Like, you know, again, I ain't going to bash no no dad coaches out here, man, you know, whatever. But it's like I'm not that, I'm not that dad coach that's like, you know, I'm not going to allow him to – you know, make his own decisions, man. My, my sons on on the boxing side of things, they are my business partners. They're not just, you know, they're not just my sons. You know, my it's a different, it's a, it's a, it's yeah, a, right, right. it's a whole business thing, man. And um, you know, and I just want to show them the way. Let's touch on something, man. Let's touch on something real quick. Since you said you teach them, you treat them as equals or partners. How do you feel about people exploiting their kids oh, man, for they for they for for financial gain? Oh man, that's out. You know, I don't. I'm never like I'm no fan of that at yeah. all. My my sons will tell you straight up off the rip. Like I'm not doing this. You know, uh, for 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 me, like I got other fighters that I work with that you know I even worry about taxing and this and that, whatever. That I'm I'm not getting no money for this right here. You get what I'm saying? And I'm not. I'm me and my sons would never have a contract or nothing like that. This and that. The only agreement is with whoever, whatever promoter my son go sign to, you know, honestly, or either one of them, that my sons are the only ones that have the power to fire me you know, on everything. And then I let them, you know, my sons, they gonna take, they're pretty sure they take care of that. Like, you oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? I ain't gonna worry about no money in hand. They might, they gonna, I'm gonna be straight, you know, honestly, mess with my kids, man. But, I mean, that, as far as online, look, we're doing something different. Yours is, you know, you're really creating a, 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 a passion and a, and a career. I'm talking about online. These people just exploiting and doing this, oh, you know, on yeah, the videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. It's a sensitive topic, man, because people do people do things randomly. And you're right. People do exploit their kids online for, for, for financial gain, bro. And it's like, it's weird. You know, it's. It's not even the route that the kid will really want to go. Like right. you get what I'm saying for sure. You're not giving this kid the opportunity to really find his own, you know their their own way or have a, you know, a, a, let me say a, a healthy a healthy mental moving forward. Man, people right. are like or come just on, a man, childhood. Just, childhood that's what I'm saying. You take away their childhood to where it just mess them all up later. You know these kids are grown off the rip. You know right. off the off off the. Man, we you know we could like, go on forever like, for real. I I'm saw a video serious. of this girl online just talking. She's a little girl, but I'm like, I know somebody wrote that script, and your Facts. mama got you on there saying all Facts. this stuff. Oh so my gosh, she bro. can go viral little, and all little, this. Little, I'm like, What's up? These little good. dudes too, and that's why it's so important for me to be the yeah. play the role that I am because I just got two other clients that I'm not charging them. You get what I'm saying? I'm like, hey man, just bring these babies, man, because look, hey, your your sons need to be. It's not just I'm just a coach. I feel like I rub off really well on other kids. Like, I teach them good, you know, just right. good energy, man. Like, honestly, this is how you handle things. This is how you do this and, and that, whatever. I try not to, you know, just I try to show them a different way. I mean, this gangbanging shit, it like, it, I, we came from it, but, hey, man, it, it need to it need to stop somewhere, man. Give these kids a chance yeah. to make their own decision. This is yeah. just what I'm saying to anything, man, like yeah. anything in life. Don't reciprocate that same circle, man. It's about some people wanted their kids to go on the same path or something, but it, people forget that it's really about, advancing people forget that it's really about getting out of a certain situation living better 
Yeah. There's nothing wrong with living better. Your kid's supposed to be better than what you that is did. True. You know that is don't true. ever feel like you, oh, man, da, da, da. man, look, your kids are supposed to be in that position. You work hard, right. so your kids don't have to really worry about right. the stuff you're worried about. You feel Facts. Me? So that's just my take on it. But it's crazy to see that, especially online, man. Speaking online, man, look, man, have you talked to, have you heard, not talked to, <laughs> have you heard that new R. Kelly album? How would you feel about R. Kelly's right. new album? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is a little content. He dropped that new hey, album. Yeah, I'm not, like, hey, look, 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 man, why everybody in the media bashing R. Kelly, man, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sit and, <laughs> and, and commentate on what I think and blah, this and that, whatever, because people are going, it, 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 you know, I've seen the comments, but I have not heard the album, you okay. know, honestly, and I think people commentate on they, they, you know, they feed off of this type of shit, you know, excuse my right. language, oh, but they, feed, they, they feed off of this type of stuff, and um, you know, I, I don't, I don't know what to say about it, man. I haven't, <laughs> I haven't listened to the album. You know, I haven't, I haven't, you know, whatever, man. That's that's a sensitive topic, exactly. man. Because I, sensitive. you know, if I if I really just tell you what I honestly feel, I don't think, I don't think you did none of that, man. Y'all didn't took my man's off the rap and good music. You know You're what I'm killing saying? me, man. Oh, You're man, killing. you know what I'm saying? You already know. Do you know how many you showies that I had on some R. <laughs> Kelly off the futon at my mama house? Yeah, nah, no, it's a, that's what I'm talking about because all the the all the people that listen or not people, yeah. a lot of the fans that's posted and talk about it say, Ooh, it's good women. Yeah, they I don't play know. They gonna be mad at me for saying that no, shit. No, no, they not because like, they forgiving themselves. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Like, uh, you know, that's but. crazy. And you, and you know, I think that it's this. And we're not gonna go deep into the movement, but it's crazy to see how you know some people would villainize a person. Yeah, facts. but then you know, you know, I facts. guess build them up. But that just goes to show, which is the next topic: somebody's craft, somebody's talent, somebody's. Um, you know, whatever they bring to the world, somebody's talent does that outweigh some of their, some of their transgressions, some of their cons, some of uh, your characteristics. What do you feel about that? You know, like, like does it does does say like does it create a smoke screen to block like the bad things? Is what well, you're not that too, that too. But you know, will someone's talent outweigh their bad deeds? You know what I'm saying? Can you look past nah, someone's? Nah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't, you know? I don't. I don't think that the the talent can outweigh the bad deeds, man. It's like. It's a difference, you know. So some people get judged off of their mistakes. It's not necessarily a bad deed. You get what I'm saying? And then, but then you got people who like, you know, if you out here really, you know, molesting babies and doing shit, this and that, whatever. I don't give a fuck what you do. Like honestly, it's, you're a bad guy. You get what I'm saying? For I don't real, give for fuck, real. fuck your music. Fuck everything else. Fuck everything, bro. Like uh, I've discussed it with myself that I was even interested. You get what I'm saying right, on everything. Right. But you know, all at the same time, people just they don't. I think that 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 line that's there, that invisible line of. Yo, hey, that judge, that judgment. Yeah, that's people, what it people is. People overjudge people for making mistakes. You get them like people judge right. me for having all of these babies, but y'all don't really look at it that it's a blessing to me. Like I'm not in the streets, I'm not in jail, I'm not out here chasing, still gang banging on a block, like you know, whatever. You know, it's and it, and I'm still the guy that I am. You know, I'm no square. I came from where I came from, but I think it raised me to be the guy that I am, to better myself, and now I'm teaching them to be a better version of me. So you know, either people can't, they can try to judge you, but they can't. Yeah, you, you touched know. on that judgment, man. You know, and then it's n when you have kids, nobody's going to judge you except your kids. Right. That's what you're really and trying facts. to, you know, and that's prove. all that matters, <laughs> you man. Like, like, I say that all the time. Like, man, all that matters is the love that my kids show me. You know what I'm saying? That's the, that's the you know, even even when they upset with me a little bit. Like, they're going to put them, you know, they, they all in right. trouble. And just to, you know, I just don't like to have that tension of, like, you know, a, you know, it's on, as long as they know it's out of love, daddy on your ass out of love. Right. And don't, yeah. don't hate that because of this. <laughs> we cool, you know? Yeah, it's, man. Yeah. It's hard for me to discipline mine. Man, my son, he was doing some crazy stuff this week. You know what I'm saying? I don't know what was going on with his mind. He was just doing some crazy shit at school. Just doing, man, come on, bro. You know you ain't supposed to be doing that. Fighting for people real. doing all that stuff. But it's like his birthday this weekend. So I'm like, man, look, I done invested into his birthday already. I'm about to cancel this whole thing. Yeah, facts. You know what I mean? I done put too much down. Put, put too much. You, about to, uh, you about to have fun today. Uh, but God it's just crazy it. because, you know, I just want them to enjoy themselves and while you still discipline them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And still let them be themselves, man. Um, how do you how do you handle discipline, man, with your two boys? Man, man it's, 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 it's it different ways. I'm not going to lie to you. We didn't, we didn't have rough nights. You get what okay. I'm saying? We didn't have rough nights. Um, but for the most part, I talk. A little bit too much, you you know, honestly, and I think at, at some moments it's hard for them to separate, you know, this thing of dad being too friendly, and you know, these are warning shots, you know, on, on everything. But most of the time, you know, I try to take it to like, you know, some militant, like, you know, give me my, give me my pushups, give me my losses, give me this, give me that, you know. But then I'm taking taking all of that shit, and you know, honestly, and then 
You know, after that, then, you know, that and seen red, you know what I'm saying? You might want to go lock the door, you know, but, uh, I love it, man. You know, the the crazy thing is it doesn't, it doesn't really, you know, my, my, my boys, especially the two that's women, man, they never, you know, they, they can't imagine being anywhere else. But oh man, they're well spoken, man. You'll get a chance to talk to him, man. Maybe have him on here. We'll see what's up, man. But, uh, that it's great to just really see that what you're doing, man. I want to really, you know, give you a second to give you your accolades, your flowers, your cigar. Yeah, you know what I'm saying your props, your shout outs for being Appreciate you know, a it. single dad because Thank um, it, it's it, you know it, we don't really see that often. I think it's like 20 percent, uh, under 20 percent of, of of single families are single fathers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, and you're a black father holding it down, man. We from yeah. the same section. Appreciate it. From the same east side of the yep. city. Uh, yes, sir. You know what I'm yes, saying? sir. Right on yes, there. Sir. I'm right here. You right there. Yeah. Same city. Yes, sir. But we always say same section when it's east side. But yeah. at the same time, I know exactly where, you know what I'm saying, y'all I, I, I am for sure uh, so easty. Yeah. Like nobody <laughs> even know. Like, you feel me? It's, it's, it's good to see that, you know, we all on the same. I'm talking about I still white tee. I think I white, I got white t-shirt on under here, bro. Yeah, Jeans, shoe. It's, you you know I'm You feel me? Let's talk about the streets real quick, man. You touched on it. Let's say how great is it? To have kids that change right. your whole mental on on being you know in the streets. Hey, it's funny. She was really touching on that, and I I had that too. It happened to me as well. Yeah. So go ahead and you know say how it really really right. changed. It changed you, me, man, because it's funny, man. I'm glad my, my my boys don't even know a certain side of me, which is good. Because I asked my son, I'd be like, son, hey, you know your daddy a gangster, right? <laughs> he'd be like, he'd be like, no, you ain't that. <laughs> but it's cool because I'm glad I'm glad they don't like they didn't get a chance to 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 really see that side of me. And um, you know, I've I've got I've had a chance to grow over the years, and um, I don't know, man. It's just like I appreciate, I appreciate the men that they're making me. You right. know, honestly, it's just like you know, you 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 do raise your kids to become certain men, but people don't really understand that. Hey, you change as you're going because you start to learn. At, at, there's no book on life, right? You get what I'm right. saying. So you write your own book. You know what I'm saying? Your your own book on raising kids. Your own book on life. Your own book on how to win. You know, and what works for you may not work for other people. You know, and you know, my kids are, you know, my kids are kings, man. You know, yes, my sir. little my little princess. Shout out little Bailey, my Bailey Bear. I love you, baby. Uh, yes, yes, yes. Uh, I only say that because when you said every time you had a kid, it refocused you. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Sometimes you know, we can lose focus. We can do this, we can do that. But like you say, each time you had a kid, it's like, hold on, man. You, you gotta focus and make sure that you put yeah, all it was, your it was pressure. Yeah. It was always pressure on at the time, you know what I'm saying, on everything. And then, you know, especially with my son Ryan. Ryan, I had him like the more extended time. Like, Ryan definitely came up seeing my struggle. He seen me. Ryan, I'm not gonna lie, I, I was hands on with all my kids, but Ryan, man, having Ryan made me become like or understand how to be a father because I had him. It was like, you know, he was two. <laughs> you, you know, right. anybody who know me from then, too, just remember me and Ryan walking down the street. Me and Ryan this, me and Ryan that, you know, and my other kids was coming in, but then, you know, around, I'm going to say about nine, I got Jaden, and, uh, man, it was just, bro, it just changed then, too, but then, you know, I'm hands-on with my babies, man, you know, so. Yes, sir. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we, I wanted to ask you to give these new fathers uh, a tip of advice. This is a dad right here. He just had his kid today. He just walked up out of Kaiser Permanente, and he got a baby in his hands with a with, with, hey, <laughs> with, hey, a, look, with a car seat. I'm going to say this. Bro, it's not as hard as what you think. You know what I'm saying? It's not as hard as you think, for sure. It's only as hard as you make it, hey. you know, for real. And then, hey, to be honest, you know, and it took me time to, to learn. You know, I'm not going to say I was the easiest baby daddy, you know, honestly, because I was, a, I was 17 years old when my son was first born, so I learned a lot, you know. But, um... Hey man, just try to keep the peace with your the the mother of your child. Keep that respect there, and regardless of whatever, you know what I'm saying on everything. Just keep your hands off these women, you know. Try not to be argumentative, and you know, and just be there for your kids, man. Like I said at the beginning, it's not as hard as it's not as hard as you think. It's only as hard as you make it. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Great advice. Extremely, extremely well advice. You know what I'm saying, especially for the dudes that's really balancing all the stress. Yeah, there's new stress. You know what I'm saying. Facts. I'm gonna just say. Um, Try to find somewhere to uh, meditate. You know what I'm saying? So you don't have to stress out. Breathe, smoke a blunt, do some, something. You know, do some push-ups. I don't know. That's all I'm gonna say because it does get stressful. But like he said, don't don't let yourself do something that you you don't regret. Facts. You know what I'm saying keep yourself in a great position with this person. You know what I'm saying, and, and it's all about how you communicate. Words uh, words can help you. Don't 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 let them be your, a weapon. You know what I'm saying? Facts. For real, it's a little harder than it's a little harder to say it than done. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? it is, bro. Because <clears throat> you know, buttons get pushed, bro. Yeah, you know what easily, I'm saying? But you just easily. you know, don't activate. That's and sometimes it. it does. Um, you know, a lot of 
emotion is involved with, especially on the other part. You know yeah, we men sometimes we just we just chilling. For but real. sometimes it's emotion that involved. It, from it, it is, bro. But that it, it's also like it's like it's like that. It's like setting off a bomb, right? You know what I'm saying? Because she might be able to push that button, but bro, you you have the code. That the other activation code that you that only supposed to, the fingerprint whatever it is that you and you don't it's don't put that there, <laughs> don't don't put that there because then it's not gonna blow nothing gonna blow up don't that means just don't engage into it bro that's all I'm saying don't engage into it because they're gonna be pushing buttons bro I'm not gonna allow you to activate this I'm not even finna crack the box pull out the activate <laughs> whatever it is however they do it bro like you get what I'm saying I'm I'm cool you're not about to you're not about to give me the blow hey listen to him before you be in a room like this no you don't fuck that talk. <laughs> For real, they're gonna be like, no, I, I, I was in there at eleven o'clock. No, you know you're fucked up. Yeah, but yeah, facts. man. <laughs> yeah, man. We do appreciate Billy Yan, man. We do appreciate you, yes, man. Sir. So before we get up out of here, man, let's go ahead and make sure you give all your right shout outs. You know what I'm saying? Do everything you got to do. Don't forget nothing. You want to write it down. Take your time, because yeah, this is for you. You are hey, a special. First, guest. I want to shout out the Most High. You know, without without him in prayer, you know what I'm saying on everything I'd be saying. I want to shout out my mama. I want to shout out the city, Linwood. You know what I'm saying on everything. All the homies, you already know. I ain't gonna. You feel me? <laughs> but uh, this is what it's about, fathers from the hood. And, you know, I, would, I, would, I wouldn't be doing it right if I didn't shout out the hood. You know what I'm saying? But I'm going to just give you a simple, real simple. Shout out to the city, Linwood. You feel me? You know, Big and Lou, and I'm going to just say that. But anyway, uh, you know, I shout out everybody else that's been supporting us. Boxing Bar, you know what I'm saying? Especially, uh, you know, Monster Mix, Truly Grand. And, you know, if I forgot y'all to say right now, I, y'all are not forgotten. I just can't think of it right now. I love y'all, though. Yeah, man, don't worry, don't worry. He will give y'all a shout-out. We love the kids, man, here, you know what I'm saying? We definitely want to be supportive of the kids, uh, Monster Mix and Fathers from the Hood, you know what I'm saying? You know we got them, so it's about the future. That's what we all believe in. Facts. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just shout-out to everybody. I appreciate y'all for liking. I appreciate y'all for being here and streaming and being a part of the community. Keep being uh, Hey, Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, 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 my kids, say say what's up in the background right now so they can know y'all here. This real daddy gang. Yeah. Uh, yeah, they here, they here. <laughs> We might get them on the next episode or something. We can show get them on Exclusive, here. though, man. They're my, they're my kings, man. Y'all going to get them in a minute. Trust me. Yeah, yeah man. It's, and we want to make sure we say once again, man, you're doing an awful great job, man. Thank you. This Thank is you. what we're here for, Fathers from the Hood. And we want to make yeah. sure we give I'm gonna you I'm going to tell you, too. My, my son going to be here, too. My son, Cameron. So we could just get him in here and you could, I'll let you, you can interview all three of them together, man. Okay. It'd, Copy it'd, that. it be comedy. We'll do Bye. that for sure, man. You know what I'm saying? Though. Yes, sir. Like we said, man, y'all keep tuning in. We appreciate y'all. We love y'all. Y'all keep taking care of them kids. Y'all keep being great fathers. Yes, sir.